Hi, it's Corrine, and today I am sharing a completed little mini album with you. I'm using a Simple Stories collection, Oh What Fun, super cute collection. I'm actually using the digital version of the collection. I'll be sure to link that down in the description box. And if you've never worked with digital papers, I have a video where I talk more about those and what type of printer I use, which I don't use a fabulous printer, but they still turn out really well. So check that out if you're interested. And I do also have a mostly start to finish on the album. It came together rather quickly, so I'll play that here in just a moment. But let me just do a real quick flip through. I have a seven by seven album with five chipboard pages that I covered in white cardstock. I did bind it with my cinch. On the front here, this little guy has about four layers beneath him to make him dimensional and then I put him in a frame and there's about three or four layers of the frame to make the frame part dimensional as well so hopefully you can see that and this was not any paper in the collection I used the pink color in the collection which I love the colors in this collection for Christmas I used the pink color and I added white snowflakes to it to make my own pattern paper for it. I also added snowflakes to this design that already came in the collection. And then I also added a Merry and Bright label to the front. I love this little deer. Super fun collection. Here is the back. I love this straight paper. I added my own little label to it. So this came together rather quickly. The album will hold four by four photos. So on all of them I have a photo mat and then a place to add a four by four photo. This one here is a little um, label that says December and some of the little present stickers. And throughout the album I did add some Crystal Nouveau drops in white. I love Simple Stories collections come with tons of journaling cards and stickers in them and um, wording things like that so I love working with them such pretty papers this is a three by three and being that they are digital papers they're blank on the other side so I just glued them together which actually makes them pretty strong look at this little Santa um, on this little card which I believe is a three by four I added a scallop border to it I just sandwiched it between the papers this one as well this one's a 4x4 four four card. It says Holly Jolly, as you can see, and have yourself a merry little Christmas. On this side, under, and all of these elements are left open, so she can just slide her photo right under. It says, oh, what fun, and the mistletoe is really cute. These are from the sticker collection. They're the little hanging ornaments. I added a Holly Jolly label, and this bird is so super cute. All of these I did double with um, a cardstock behind them just so they were thick being that she'll be lifting them up to add photos under them. Merry and Bright. This guy again, I think I used him three times throughout the album. I love him. I love this Christmas countdown that it comes with. I added a wonky scallop border to the edge. Another one that I added a wonky scallop border. The presents. These four by six cards are really cute. Look at the Santa. On this side, I love this little paper with the Santa and the penguin and all the little guys in the background. I use the Christmas Wish and Christmas Memories label. Here, this paper is so pretty. I used uh, the Merry and Bright and then I did add some Crystal Nouveau drops. And here's some more of the, I didn't use these, but some of the cutouts. Some of this I cut out by hand, like the papers. They're just simple. You print them out and cut them out with your um, your tri uh, paper trimmer. These I had cut from my Silhouette Cameo. So again, super simple. You just print them out and just do a print and cut, basically. The, you will have to trace around them, but it's very simple, and it cuts them out perfectly. This here I designed myself to give myself the edge of the Christmas tree. I love this Christmas tree came in the collection. So I just added some of the paper behind it and then had it, the edge of the paper cut out like the Christmas tree. I added an Allie Edwards stamp that says, in the air there's a feeling of Christmas. Same with on this side, I put sweater weather, added some Crystal Nouveau drops to both sides of the tree. This Holly Jolly, I added another scallop border a different scallop border to it 
I love this little penguin guy. Here is some more of those flowers. They are doubled and popped up. Add some more of those ornament lights. Here's where I use the tree again. <laughs> and the mistletoe, I added some Nouveau drops to them and a little label that says Ho Ho Ho. Here's a three by three card, very merry, and then popped up some of those flowers on there. Another four by six. Love this paper, love the colors through this. I've already mentioned that, I believe. This here, I just added another page to it, a five by five. Use, here's the deer. And then the last page, I added some of the ornaments, the little snowman and another flower. So again, this came together pretty quickly if you want to stay tuned for the process. And I hope you're all having a very Merry Christmas. You're spending time with family and friends. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel. Have a great day. I'm starting with five chipboard pieces that are seven by seven and five pieces of white cardstock that are eight and a half by eight and a half. You will also need five sheets of seven by seven cardstock to attach to the other side. I'm using my Fabri-Tac to adhere down my chipboard to the center of my cardstock and I'm going to wrap it like you would a mini album and that's why you need the extra piece of paper to cover up the back side because you want to cover up those edges before adding your pattern paper so I make sure to add a lot of glue I want to make sure it's not coming up anywhere and I'm going to do most of that off camera I'm using my perfect trim ruler to measure out and miter the corners just using some scissors you want to leave about a 1 8 inch gap between your chipboard and where you cut and that way you don't leave any of the chipboard exposed when you wrap the corners around so I'm just kind of bending around the pages I'm going to be adding my tape to the chipboard itself and being that I left, left myself a little bit of an extra edge to wrap around I'm going to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac as well I could have added tape to the edge of the cardstock but um, the wet glue is cheaper so I like to use both um, this way I know it's adhered down well with the double-sided tape but then it also has a little ac added layer of the glue to make sure it's adhered down so I'm going to glue the opposite ends first tuck in those corners to make sure I have good edges and then do the last two sides again I will do all of that make sure it's pushed down very well using my brayer Here's the seven by seven pieces of paper. And again, just adding some glue to the edges to adhere those down. You can add your pattern paper directly, but I, I wasn't making my pattern paper that large. So I wanted this to go edge to edge to cover up those corners. So now that I have all my pieces done, I'm going to add all my different layers. As I mentioned, I'm using the Oh What Fun collection from Simple Stories and I have a bunch of stuff cut out. Here are my photo mats that are four by four, and then here are my pattern papers that are six and a half by six and a half. I left a white block in the center because I'm covering those up and that would just be a waste of ink. So I put a white block in it before printing it out. I'm just gonna get my pages in order, um, deciding which pattern papers I want first. Usually when I'm using a digital collection, I like to order the uh, physical collection as well. In this case, I didn't have it, so I'm using just the full digital collection. And as I did mention earlier in the video, if you've never worked with digital papers before, check out the description box. I'll have a link to a video that I did explaining more of how I use digital papers. Super simple though, you just basically print them out and cut them out. Or you could have your die cutting machine print them out and cut them just like you would do a normal print and cut. So using my wet glue, I'm adding all my pattern papers first. Here's my front cover. And I love this little guy. I added, I think several layers. Um, I mean, I know I added several layers. I think I did four just of the same cardstock behind it. I could have used chipboard, but I didn't want to have to worry about covering up the chipboard because I didn't want you to see the craft color or black color chipboard. So I just used cardstock, thick cardstock. Added about four layers behind it to give it some dimension. And then the same thing with the frame. I believe I added three layers of the frame. 
considered making that a shaker in the front, but I just wanted to leave it as it is. I love that little guy there, so I didn't want to take away from that at all. And I'm going to add that after I do my cinch binding. Here's just a piece of paper that's going to go. It's a five by five. It's just going to be added into the album. I love those two images, so I thought I would add them. And I'm showing you here that I'm going to add a colored border. I matched the colors to all the, the papers. And then I'm also adding a photo mat. And again, this will hold four by four photos. And now using my cinch, I'm just going to add some holes right to the center of the album uh, edges. I'm not, I decided not to go all the way from the top to the bottom, just to add them into the center. I love my cinch. It's super simple to use and it'll go through lots of layers. And I'll do the same with all the little journaling cards that I add to the center. So now I'm just going to kind of go through, put them in order before I bind it. I'm getting out my, my uh, wire rings, cutting them to the size that I need. And you want to put the inside pages on first, then the back cover, then the front cover. Again, super simple to use. I had to bind it all, and that was not as simple to use, and I wasn't always happy with the results. But with the cinch, I'm always happy with that. I'm using one and a quarter inch rings because I really wanted there to be a lot of room. So now that I have that done, I'm going to add all the little pieces I have them all pre-cut I have them all um, backed with cardstock so they're they're nice and sturdy because photos will be going under most of them and now I'm just going to use some scotch quick dry to adhere them all down that'll only take me a moment and continue to embellish the cover I did or excuse me the album I did finish it off with some white crystal crystal nouveau drops throughout so I hope you stay tuned for the detailed photos at the end. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. The first Noel the angel did say Was to certain poor shepherds in fear as they lay in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep no